Um, maybe some people don't know that you're quite a, a bird watcher. I understand, and you do take yourself off to some interesting little places on the Isle of Man. You probably know more than, than I do, in a sense. You, you enjoy that sort of thing, do you? Greatly. Um, the range of species here is, uh, is not as great as some of the places I've lived in the world, uh, the United States, certainly Kenya. But what you have here are some true uh, stars, some really interesting birds, and those that local people might just take for granted, chuffs, for instance, are... Yes, you go to Morocco, you see the same chuffs, but within the, the British Isles, the population of breeding chuffs on this island is, uh, is stellar, and it stands out. You really find them very, very few breeding pairs elsewhere within the British Isles. And so it's not only a great pleasure and a joy, but it is, it is also a potential attraction for specialised tourism. And I think we might see that coming through a bit more now that there is this link between Manx bird life and the RSPB. So it's one of those specialised areas of tourism that we could see developing on the island and you know, will help the Manx economy. How have you found the Isle of Man? Do you, you, know, you, you enjoy it? And you're helping and doing things behind the scenes, no doubt, to make our well-being across the world known better? Well, I think two strands to that answer, if you like. One is that there is a role here in supporting government project the island. Whenever there is an important uh, delegation or an important visitor, then we will do something here that helps in that manner. We had a, a couple of things I can think of. Um, a Chinese delegation came, um, and China you know, is the burgeoning economy and the growing economic force in the world. Um, we had a lunch here for 20 when a delegation of Chinese who were uh, based currently in London came. But they all had connections back into China. Uh, there were two journalists from different... Um, one was, I think, the, the Chinese Communist Party organ, uh, at least. Uh, and she, she maybe felt that the manner in which she was described in that way, was sort of, there was more to her than just that. But that projection back through the impression they gained um, was important. And around the lunch table, we matched up their delegation with different members of the economy here, because the Manx economy is actually rather more diverse than some of the other offshore jurisdictions. Uh, so it was good to put uh, not just a bank, an extra banker, but uh, a high-tech manufacturer from the island alongside uh, somebody who might be interested in that area from the Chinese. So we can do that sort of thing. More particularly, there will be different ambassadors who come to the island and will be put up here. They'll stay the night here. We'll um, help them feel... Uh, particularly enthusiastic about the island, both through the dinner that we host, but also the other uh, insight that we give them to the island's culture. And then um, the other particular strand is, uh, and you touched on that in your question, is in support to the community. Um, and there are a whole number of ways in which my role supports the cohesion of the community and the work of the many charities on the island in helping that cohesion. Well, finally, looking ahead to the year, anything already in your diary, things that are looking exciting? Or? Oh, well, there, there's lots and, uh, that comes on. And actually, there's a number of organisations that have asked me to go along and speak to them um, about uh, events in my past, which has been good fun. But I'll also look at, um, I think, particularly that aspect of the community, which is maybe the, the thing that involves the biggest amount of my, my diary time. Uh, there are issues like going out to um, celebrate the, one, the 100th birthday of people. There are more people reaching 100 now, of course, than we have seen in the past. So that is a, a growing uh, element in the diary. Uh, and it's always interesting, because these, these people have seen so much of life in the world. Well, <clears throat> fingers crossed, uh, the weather won't be as uncertain as today and maybe the sun will come out and uh, you have a good day. Well, thank you very much, Paul. It's very good to see you again. <laughs>